last night was the night that was supposed to be Super Tuesday, exciting in terms of what was going to happen with the primaries. What a dud. <laughs> right? I so mean, boring. <laughs> I was out last night with a bunch of reporters and a bunch of PR flacks from the Hill, and they called the McConnell race for Bevan. And it was just like a collective shrug, frankly. You know, everyone thought this was going to be the potentially the conservative that could take out Mitch McConnell, and it really... He just he trounced him, right. and there was re really never a competition. So now Mitch McConnell gets to finally <laughs> engage on uh, Allison Lundergan Grimes. And you started to see it already, right, in terms of what his speech was last night. He started to already hit on the themes that are going to be central to this race. You had him talking about Obamacare, him talking about, you know, Grimes' inexperience, things like that. And you had her kind of trying to hit back. And it's going to be a slugfest, right? This is not going to be a, a, a pretty race in the next couple of months. One thing that is going to be interesting in the, in the coming weeks Weeks is Jack Kingston's uh, right, Georgia, right? Georgia. I mean, that, that is the one race where you still have this like nine week slugfest, right? I mean, that is a long time. Basically, gives the Democrat Michelle Nunn a long time to just let the two Republicans beat up on each other, right? The the, the reality is Georgia is a Republican state. Um, mm -hmm in most places, I don't want to say everywhere, but I mean, they have a lot of Republican representatives in Congress. They have a Republican governor. It, it went convincingly for Mitt Romney, um, but they, they're going to beat up on each other. It's going to cost them a lot of money. Purdue is a self-funder. Jack it's Kingston has to wealthy. raise some money. Yeah. And the question is, do conservatives rally around Kingston as their choice? Do they come out for Kingston? And we saw Kingston yesterday. He was up in Washington uh, for, for one of the big votes uh, that they were taking. And, I mean, to me, he seemed fairly confident. I mean, he had his plan. He was doing it. He was, you know, he wasn't nervous. He was pretty loose. Like, he has a game plan for the next nine weeks. I mean, Kingston is also the establishment, the, mm -hmm. the most establishment guy around. Long-time I mean, appropriator. 22 years in Congress. He's been here forever. Um, so uh, it might be a tough pill for conservatives, some conservatives, uh, conservatives to swallow. Right.